Yeah, but I'm just gonna go with it. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. My name is Joy Childress, and I am here with my partner, Mark, back there. Give us a wave. And we are here today to offer you a yoga flow, yoga pod two style pod flow. And um, this morning, my partner and I had an awesome uh, time listening to one of my favorite favorite astrologers. His name is Kaipacha. And if you're into listening to Amazing Humans, he's on YouTube. And he had a great talk this morning on um, this time, the specific time that we're living in, and how we have the ability here to really um, change the world that we're living in, because obviously some change needs to happen. We're definitely living um, out of whack with Mother Earth. And I think this break has really been like a time out from Mother Earth. Go to your rooms and think about the way you're living. And I found this beautiful meme the other day, and it just reminded me of, um, of, yeah, really what I've been trying to take this time, um, this time out time and think about and think about how we as people can change what we're doing in our own lives and how that change is amplified and magnified into the world. So we're going to do that on our mats today. We're going to look deep within, practice some Svadhyaya, which is self-study, um, and reflect on what it is we want to change. So let's start getting right into that. And we are going to lay on our mat. So just like Mark is there in full Shavasana, so lying on your mat, allowing your arms to just open, open and wide, your shoulders, your heart, let your feet fall to either side. And go ahead and take some deep, open mouth exhales. And just start to let go of the tension within your face. So all the muscles in your forehead, around your eyes, your cheeks, your jaw. Go ahead and just start to breathe in life. Whatever that means to you. If that kid's playing, that noise, that life of spring popping out of the ground. The inhale, invoking that feeling of life. And as you exhale, let go of tension, let go of stress. Let go. And in a neutral mind frame, so not one of judgment, begin to gaze within and check in with yourself. Start to reflect what it is within your own being that you would like to change what it is once you find that change, what your life looks like. So really feeling what that would be. Peace, happiness, balance. All of these things that are able to be offered up in the time of change when you really focus on what you want. Gazing within, eyes are deeply closed, Feel your body be cradled by Mother Earth here. We'll start class with a quote by Sharon Gaynon. She says, we create the world we live in. If we want to change what we don't like in the world, we must start by changing what we don't like about ourselves. So I'd like in the next 60 minutes, as we harness this energy within our body, within our energetic system, to be energy that we send towards a change that we want to see in our own life. So right now, tune in to what it is that you want to see change. And then this next breath, send it towards that intention, that energy with your breath towards that change. And allow the rest of your practice, every movement, to focus into that change and send it energy. Take one more full, deep breath here. Life force moving through you. And then begin to blink your eyes open. Bend your knees into your chest. Right knee and left knee. And pull them into your chest. So hands are underneath your knees to just drive that 
pull, that deep hug. Just love yourself. Love yourself for all the imperfections because those are what help you to grow, become better, to change into that butterfly, if you will. Giving yourself a squeeze, maybe wrap your forearms around your shin and deeply hug yourself, love yourself. And then grab behind your thigh. Begin to start to rock and roll back and forth on your spine. I'm thinking cat and cow as you roll. So as you lift, bring your heart up. As you roll down, hug in. So cat and cow, rolling style. Open your heart as you lift, tuck and roll as you roll back. And just start to build that momentum. Feel the energy flowing through your system for three more. Two more. We're going to meet in tabletop after this last roll, coming to tabletop. Plant your hands and then step your feet back. Knees come underneath your hips. Wrist directly under, under your shoulders. Now root into the right hand. Spread your fingers right wide and then lift your left leg off the earth. No, oh, actually, opposite. Right leg off the earth. Flex your right toes towards your face. Feel that lift of your upper thigh, so the glute muscle engaged. Now bird dog, reach your left hand forward. Feel your core engage. Feel that change begin to take place. The strong muscles, deep breath in. Exhale, pull your knee and elbow in towards one another. Think cat back, push up through your upper back. Inhale, reach forward, look back. Exhale, squeeze to center. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze and hold. Yes. Inhale, extend back out. And with your exhale, tabletop. Left hand and right knee replace to the earth. Now spread your left fingers out wide. Release your left leg out long. Right hand forward. Find those stabilizing muscles. Send that intention that you set, the strength you're harnessing right here. One more breath in. Exhale, squeeze, bird dog. Right elbow to left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze to hold for a little bit. Push your upper back in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tabletop, beautiful. Walk your hands slightly forward. Take a deep breath in as you flip your toes. Exhale, down dog, push up and back, lifting through your core, your glutes. And find a little movement here, maybe walking out your dog, bending one knee and then the opposite. Maybe it's a rolling of your wrist, taking one wrist off the earth and finding little circles. Finding this time now to just love yourself, give yourself what you need, that deep breath. You have three more breaths wherever you're finding movement, find balance. One more breath. With your exhale, draw your heels a little deeper to the earth. Inhale, look up at your hands. As you exhale, tippy toe your feet to the top of your mat. Feet land directly behind your wrist, hips with distance apart. For ragdoll, Uttanasana variation, opposite hand to opposite bicep. Let your head hang heavy, maybe gaze at the back of your mat, and then close your eyes. Start to sway side to side, soften in your knees. Let the stress, the tension release off of you. And begin to release your hands down to the earth as you open your eyes. Toe heel your feet in, big toes come to touch. Soft bend in your knees, inhale mountain, extended style, fingertips reach to the sky. Exhale, sama sitihi, hands come into heart, close your eyes. Right palm pushes into left, left into right. Root your feet equally into the earth. 
Feel your core engage with the Anda Banda, Mula Banda, charged and locked in. Roll your shoulders down your back. Namaskitihi means bringing everything into balance, knowing that evolution is driven by change. I'm always working towards finding balance. That's what I believe evolution is doing. So as now, we're finding this switch from matriarch, patriarchy rather to matriarchy, it's balancing. So take a deep breath in. An open mouth exhale. Ground into the change. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale for an ohm. Primordial sound, creation, let this energy you harness be part of your creation, your beautiful life, the masterpiece that it is. Blink your eyes open. Inhale, mountain pose, sarasana. Bring your hands into touch and then reach down, right hand to clasp your left wrist. Take a breath in. Exhale, side stretch. Reach towards the right. Pull your left wrist with your right hand. Feel your side stretch, your left body getting longer. Avoid slumping in your right side. Push equally into your feet. Inhale, come back to center. Release your wrist, right hand. Left hand comes to your right wrist as you exhale. Find a side stretch to the left. Breathe into your body all that is changing in this moment. Feel the release. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, open your heart. Cactus your arms, find a mini back bend, drawing your elbows into one another. Root your heels into the earth. Pull your low belly in. Inhale, mountain. Hands to heart. Exhale, forward fold, bowing in. Hands come to the earth, soften in your knees. Allow your weight to tilt a little forward into the balls of your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Connect your fingertips to the earth or your shins. Create a long, flat spine. Soften in your knees. Pull your low core in. Deep breath in. Exhale, squat and curl. Fingertips to the earth. Lift your heels. Bend your knees deeply. Come into that loving, tiny ball. Love yourself for all your imperfections. Know that that is what drives you to change, to evolve, to become better. We'll flow through that sun A two more times. Inhale, extended mountain pose, reach for the sky. Exhale, samasitihi, hands into heart. Inhale, mountain, hands draw back up. Exhale, side stretch, reach your right wrist, right hand to your left wrist. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch to the left. Left hand holding right wrist. Inhale, center. Exhale, open your heart. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, squat and curl, tiny infinite ball of loving energy. Inhale, extended mountain, reach for the sky. Exhale, samasitihi, maybe you close your eyes, turn the balance. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side stretch, right wrist or left wrist, right hand. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch the opposite direction. Inhale, center. Exhale, open your heart, maybe a little deeper, that heart opening, offering up that change. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold, flat spine as you bow and beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat and curl. Hold here, plant your hands into the earth, 
step your feet back to a high plank. Root your palm, push into all 10 fingertips. Work to engage your drishti, drishti, your gaze. Just as we've set sight on something to reflect on in our own bodies, our own lives. Set sight on your earth, the earth, mother earth. Lock it in, hold it in, feel your core engaged, pull up to your upper back, you got it. One more breath in. Exhale, shift forward, bend your elbows, hold to mid plank. Here we are, chaturanga. Elbows squeezing in, inhale, up dog, flip to the tops of your feet, thighs are lifted off the earth. Shoulder blades work back, open your heart, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, use your core to lift your hips. Beautiful. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float if you're feeling warm enough, top of your stick. Nice work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Find that invisible chair or thunderbolt pose. Allowing the energy here in this posture to go into that intention you've set. This is a strongly charged energetic pose. Feel that in your glutes. Squeeze your thighs towards one another. Awesome job. Take two more breaths here. Maybe you sit a little deeper each breath. Low belly pulls in. One more breath in. Exhale forward, fold, bow into the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands, step your feet back, ride your exhale as you lower to mid plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Yes, root into your palms. Fingers spread wide. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Lift your leg, flex your right toe. Beautiful work, take a deep breath in. Here's some core. Exhale, knee to right triceps. Squeeze, shoulder stack over wrist. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Think cat back. Push up. Yes. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Hold. With your next inhale, spread your right foot to the earth. Knife edge to the earth. And then reach. Left hand high. Holding here. Lift your hips a little higher. With your exhale, reach your left hand to the front of your mat, palm faces down, lift through your side body. Feel that stretch. Deep breath in and out. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, plant your left hand to the earth. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, lunge, bring it all the way between your hands. Stay on the ball of your left foot. Inhale, crescent on Janayasana. Work to shift your hips so they're facing forward equally. Left hip forward, right back. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in and out. One more breath in and out. Fill your lungs. Exhale, airplane your arms. Shift your torso forward. Belly stays off your thigh. Reach your hands back. Lift the backs of your arms, your triceps a little higher. Squeeze your pinkies in. Yes, you're heating up. You're finding more energy. Send it into your intention. Where do you want change to amplify? Beautiful. Hold for one more breath. Inhale, warrior two. Back foot spins flat to the earth as you open up. Exhale, work into the depth of your front lunge. Shoulders stack directly over hips. Gaze over your front middle finger. Beautiful, Mark. Looking so strong. Work deeper into your lunge. Each breath taking you deeper into some uncomfortable feelings. If they are there, breathe into them. This is change happening. Making you better, stronger. Inhale, dancing warrior. Straighten your right leg. Palms come to touch above your head. Gaze up. Beautiful, exhale, warrior two. We'll do that one more time, just like that. Inhale, lift, dancing warrior. 
Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Come to top of, come expand rather. <laughs> Toes out, heels in. Belly pulls in. Deep breath in. Exhale, horse. Bend your knees deeply. Wide squat here. Feel your glutes engage. Pull your belly in. Shoulders back. Squeeze them in. Yes. Inhale, rise back up, star. Exhale, warrior two, to the back of your mat. Left knee bends. Yes, belly pulls in. Push into your back, right knife edge blade of your foot. Feel that depth in your front knee. Maybe you go deeper. Breathe into the change happening. Conscious breath. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left hand reaches back. Right hand drops down to your thigh. Little weight to that right hand. Breathe into the side stretch. Beautiful. One more breath in. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the earth. Low lunge. Drop your right knee to the earth. Inhale, half crescent. Ardha, Anjane Asana. Fingertips reach up. Find a little heart opener here. Deep breath in. Exhale, half split. Bending deeply into your right knee, straighten your left leg, flex your left toes towards your face. Hands are rooted into the earth, belly pulls in. We'll find some dynamic movement now. Inhale, half crescent, rise back up, find that heart opener. Exhale, half split. Slow and controlled. Inhale, half crescent. Exhale, half split. Beautiful. Inhale, half crescent to hold. Exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, standing L. Lift your right leg off the earth. Flex your right toes. Lift your heart. Think halfway lift. Take one more inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat. Bend your left knee, right. Reach your right knee to the outside of your left calf. Hold. Hands can stay rooted to the earth or hands come up to heart for an extra challenge. One more round of breath. Release your hands if they're lifted. Inhale, standing L. Exhale, forward fold. Release right foot to left. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend your knee. Hello, thunderbolt. Gather that energy. Send it towards the intention you set. Bridging the mind and the body here. Take one more breath in. Exhale, forward fold, bow in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant your hands, step your feet back or float back. Slide your breath. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breath between sides, deep inhale. Open mouth, release. Inhale, left leg high. Flex your toes. Draw the inner left thigh towards the sky. One more inhale. Exhale, knee to left triceps. Squeeze it in. Yes, you can. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Cat back. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Cross your body. Thread your foot through. Inhale, fall in triangle. Right hand high. Lift your hips. Exhale, side stretch. Reach your right hand forward. Lift your hips, lift your side body. Inhale, reach your right hand high. Exhale, plant it to the earth. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, lunge, drive it through. Inhale, crescent, keep your feet as they are. Lift your heart, your torso. Reach your hands high. Flex into your core. Engage. Every muscle turned on. All this beautiful energy you're harnessing. Take one more breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms. Belly pulls up and in. Really work to lift your low belly off your thigh. Inhale, warrior two. Right foot flat to the earth as you rise up. With your exhale, deepen into your left knee. Your lunge is strong and beautiful. Soft gaze over your left fingers. 
Inhale, Dancing Warrior, left leg straighten, palms touch above you. Exhale, Warrior Two, Virabhadrasana Two. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Beautiful breath. Inhale, star, rise to center. Toes out, heels in. Exhale, horse, hands to heart. To deep. Maybe you find some movement. Go side to side. Everything is organic, growing and flowing all the time. I'm coming into stillness. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two, front of your mat. Beautiful. Work into the equal pressure of your feet. Now work to squeeze your thighs energetically towards one another. Belly pulling in, shoulder blades squeezing in. Inhale, reverse, warrior, viparita, vira, badrasana. Deep inhale. Exhale, lunge to the earth in front of you. Lower your left knee to the earth, low lunge. Inhale, half crescent, rise up to your fingertips and heart. Find that mini back bend. Exhale, half split, right leg straighten, hands to the earth. Create a long, flat, low back, pulling your core. Avoid rounding. Instead, work your heart forward, crown of your head forward. Dynamic movement, inhale, half crescent, move forward, reach up, find that back bend. Yes, exhale, half flip. Two more, inhale, rise up. Exhale, half flip. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, half flip. Inhale, half crescent to hold. Exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, standing L, left leg lifts to the sky. Flex your left toes in. Nice work, heart opening, energy moving through the crown of your head. One more breath in. Exhale, Shiva, squat to hold. Left knee to the outside of your right calf. If you took the challenge on the other side, hands to heart. Extend energy through your long spine. Whirling energy up and down. Charging up your intention. One more breath in. Release your hands if they're lifted. Inhale, standing L. Exhale forward, fold, left foot meets right. Let your head hang heavy. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Now picking up our pace, matching breath to movement, let's slow. Inhale, chair, utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high to mid plank or skip it. Down dog is always a place to meet. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to right triceps, squeeze it in. Inhale, leg high. Exhale to center, knee to center. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to right, left tricep, thread it through. Inhale, fall in triangle, reach your left hand. Exhale, stretch, reach forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant your hand. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, lunge, step it through. Inhale, crescent, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, airplane your arms. Inhale, warrior two, rise up. Exhale, take you deeper in. Inhale, dancing warrior. Exhale, warrior two. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two, back of your mat. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel your hands to the earth, right knee to the earth. Inhale, half crescent. Exhale, half lift. Two more, just like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, low core, engage. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, half lift. 
Inhale, half crescent. Exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, standing L, right leg high. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, standing L. Exhale, forward fold. Second side, inhale, chair, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high to mid plank. Inhale, up dog, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale, leg high, yes you can. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to right tricep to thread your foot through. Inhale, fall in triangle. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, lift your arm. Exhale, plant your hand. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, crescent, drive your heart up. Exhale, airplane, your arms strong. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, get deeper. Inhale, dancing warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two, front of your mat. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the earth, low lunge, left knee to the earth. Inhale, half crescent. Exhale, half split. Two more, inhale, lift, breathing into your hips, exhale, low. One more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, half crescent. Exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, standing L, left leg high. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, leg high, standing L. Exhale, forward fold, yes. Inhale, chair pose, hold here. Hold, pull your belly in. Slowly begin to lower your hips all the way down to the earth, slow and controlled, yes, you can. For a set of boat pose, lower your hips, find your layer of boat, layer one. Feet are flat to the earth, grab behind your thighs, long flat spine. Layer two, arms and shins are parallel to the earth, lifted high. Belly pulling in, heart open. Layer three, extend your hands and feet. Hold for three, two, one. Come into a tiny ball on the earth, a pine ball. Grab behind your thighs, start to rock and roll. Feel that momentum. We're coming into chair pose. So finding a tricky transition, plant your hands, lift your heart. Yes, you can. Yes, deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga nandasana, high to mid plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Yes, inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to right, left tricep, thread it through. Inhale, reach your hand high. Now option here is to find some change. Lift your right foot off the earth and hover it. Change is hard, but we're getting stronger and better from this. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your foot. Find that reach, the side stretch. Inhale, lift your hand. Exhale, plant your hand. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, lunge, step through. Inhale, crescent, rise up. Exhale, airplane, crescent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, get deeper. Inhale, dancing warrior. 
Exhale, warrior two. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, low. Inhale, stop. Exhale, horse. Lift your heels. You'll find there is this hovering challenge happening this time through our sun B. It's an uplift, it's an elevation, change allowing us to find higher evolution. Lift your heels a little higher. You got it. Drop your tailbone a little lower. Whoo, one more breath. Lower your heels. Inhale, stop. Exhale, warrior two, back of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, lunge, low lunge, right knee to the earth. Inhale, crescent. Now here's a chance to elevate. As you exhale, half splits, but hands hover behind you. Elevate into the change. Inhale, half crescent. Exhale, half splits. Hover your hands. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, half split, hover, 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 belly pulls in. Inhale, half crescent. Exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, Shiva, start Oops, standing L, right leg high. Exhale, Shiva, squat, there it is. And if you didn't take the challenge the first round, bring your hands into heart. You are strong, you are capable of great things. Take a deep breath in and out. Release your hands to the earth. Inhale, standing L. Exhale, forward fold. Right foot meets left. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Now it comes that lower, slowly and controlled. Lower your glutes to the earth. Second set of boat pose, Navasana. Take your layer. Whew, breathe. Take some time to reflect here. Study yourself. Where does this posture need to be? What layer? Offer up what will create the greatest change in your body. Knowing that change is hard, level up. Take it here. One more breath in. Exhale, supine ball. Roll in. Hands behind your thighs. Start to rock and roll. Find that momentum back into chair. Tricky transition. Here we are, 2020. Inhale, chair. Yes. Exhale, forward fold. Hands into heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Hands plant. Step back. Rise your exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, knee to right tricep and then thread your foot through. Reach your right hand high. And here's your ability to up level. Change it up. Hover your left foot. Deep breath in. Exhale, side stretch. Reach forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release your hand. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, airplane your arms. Inhale, warrior two. Whew. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, dance, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, anchor. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse to elevate the heels. Lift into the change. Getting stronger, wiser. Root your tailbone to the earth. Feel grounded into this now, this change. Whew. You got it. Feel the shake. You're getting stronger. Lower your heels. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two, front of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel down, low lunge, left knee to the earth. Inhale, half crescent. 
Here comes that challenge. Exhale, half switch to hover the hands. Belly pulls in, strong core. Inhale, half crescent. Exhale, half lift. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, really slower. Yes, one more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, half split to hover for a moment. Feel the strength you've harnessed. Inhale, half crescent. Exhale, plant your hand. Inhale, standing L, left leg high. Exhale, Shiva, squat to hold. Find the challenge, hover hands to heart. Finding balance, equanimity in this challenge. <sighs> Feeling the change taking place. All that beautiful energy you're harnessing. One more breath in and release your hands to the earth. Inhale, standing L. Exhale, forward fold. Gorgeous work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat and curl. Come into a teeny tiny little ball. And then slowly finding a counterbalance. Often that's what's needed in the world as we change. Work your heart forward as you draw your heels towards the earth. Slowly lower your glutes to the earth and then all the way down to your spine, one vertebra at a time. Supta Baddha Konasana sit up. Soles of your feet come together. Knees out wide, hands behind your head. In your classroom behind your head, keep your elbows out wide, lock your gaze above you and keep it there. Take a breath in, exhale, lift to hold, finding an isometric squeeze. Say hello to all those muscles firing up, creating change in your body. One more breath in, exhale, lower, full inhale, exhale, lift. Now to speed it up, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, low. Exhale, lift. You got it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you'd like to add some change or evolution in, <laughs> hover your heels off the earth and squeeze as you lift up, maybe bringing your elbow towards your knee. You got it. Feel the strength you're harnessing. Watch yourself talk. Where is this taking you? If you find it's taking you to a place of self-doubt, rewrite your thoughts. You can. You are strong enough to weather this. We are on this planet right now for great change. You know it. Deep down inside, you signed up to be here right now. Work into the strength that you're building. First five. Four. You got it. Three, two, and one. Hold up, isometric squeeze. Release your hands, bring them to inner class in front of you. Start to pulse. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Release out long toes, or heels rather, to the earth, fingertips reach over your head. Oh, coming into some oblique love. Bend your right knee. Stack it over your right hip. Flex your right toes. Hover your left foot off the earth. Hands behind your head. Bicycle. Take a breath in. Exhale, left armpit towards the right knee. Inhale, center. Switch out your legs. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale. There it is. Feel your obliques now firing up side core. If you like a challenge, whew, I think we all want a challenge. That's why we came. That's why we incarnated on this planet right now. So if you're ready, scissor kick, straighten your legs. Last five, four, three, two. One, awesome job, release that long, find that beautiful stretch. Whew, one last little push in core, 
well, almost one. <laughs> Hands come behind, beside your hips. Lift your legs up towards the sky. Lift your toes towards your face. We're going to find some hip lift. Take a breath in. Exhale, lift your hips. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. This is your low core now. Bring your awareness to what is changing. Breathe into it. Use your life force, your prana, to really get into that change. Use your intention to send this energy of change within your body to whatever you set. You got it for five, two, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees in. Find a tiny little ball. You know, one last little push. We're going to find some plank love and then move into our inversion of class. Grab behind your thighs. Rock and roll. Find three rock and rolls and then high plank is where we'll meet. Plant your hands. Step or jump your feet back. Nice mark. Gaze down. Hold your plank. You've got this. Whew. Feel the strength you're harnessing. You have 10 more seconds. Now we're moving towards crow. So if you've got that jump forward into crow, feel free to go there. Everyone else, begin to walk your feet towards your hands. Squat into a little squat here, and I'm going to demo. If you don't know how to get into crow, go ahead and watch me and then follow. Plant your hands to the earth. Fingers spread nice and wide. Start to hinge forward, bringing weight into your fingertips. Come onto your tippy toes. Knees draw in and towards your armpits. Bend your elbows, creating a shelf for your chin. Gaze forward and hinge forward. Belly pulls in, think cat back. You can stay here, or if you're into some tripod headstand, there is that for you. Mark is demoing that. Crow is great because you can keep your toes planted or fly in crow. Lift your toes, big toes to touch. For an up layer, begin to straighten your arms. Hold for two more breaths. Down dog is where we'll meet. So if you have a crow jump back, feel free to practice it. One more breath in. Exhale. Woo! Here's my dog. <laughs> Down dog. Mr. Tuffy, he loves to get in the way. I think I just pulled out some of his tail here. Take a deep breath here in your down dog. If you'd like to find child's pose, you can. Child's pose, bringing your forehead to the earth. And just breathing here, catching your breath. Often we hold our breath in inversion. Some hard change flipping our worlds upside down, isn't it? Breathe into it. Harness that energy of change. Two more deep breaths wherever you are, down dog or child pose. When your breath settle, inhale, just tabletop. Take a breath in. Exhale, down dog. Lift your hips. Find that inverted V shape. Maybe your heels draw deeper into the earth at this point. Notice that change that's taking place in your body. And then begin to walk your hands back towards your feet. Last little challenge in our balancing posture here. Inhale, mountain, rise up. Exhale, release your hands to your hips for dancer's pose. Bend your right knee, reach your right hand towards the inside of your right arch. So thumb and big toe mound come to touch. Draw your knees into touch. Pull in your core, inhale, left arm reaches high. With your exhale, begin to kick your foot into your right hand, kicking so hard that it initiates a hinge forward. Reaching forward, soft bend in your grounded leg. Feel all those little muscles, tendons, everything working together. Get stronger, teamwork. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come back to center. 
Exhale, release your right foot, left hand to your hips, samasitihi, hands to heart, close your eyes. Regulate your breath. Second set, dancers, Nadara Jasana, left side, bend your left out knee, reach your left hand inside of your arch, left knee to right knee, pull into your core, inhale, right arm high. Exhale, kick your left foot into your left hand, kicking so hard that you initiate that hinge forward. Find your drishti, everything locking you into the now. You got it. Inhale, come back to center. Release your left hand, your left foot, right hand. Samasitihi, hands into heart. Regulate your breath. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Nice work. Hands to the earth. Begin to walk your hands back towards the top of your mat. For down dog, feet are hip width distance. Root into the balls of your hands. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Right knee towards your right wrist. Drop your shin to the earth. Toe heel your left foot back. Top of your left foot to the earth. Push your hips into the earth. Inhale, open your heart. Grow long through your spine. Exhale, forward fold, half pigeon. Walk your hands forward, bring your head to maybe stacked palm, flat fist, or maybe completely to the earth. Working to connect your third eye, the Ajna Chakra, to something. This is a symbolic gesture to paying homage to our intuition. That little voice that is always leading us to our highest good. Leading us to evolve, to change. Physically, spiritually, in balance in our life. Balance with Mother Earth. Balance with the cosmos. Take one more deep, nourishing breath here. Begin to lift your heart. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Come to the toes of your left foot. And inhale, right leg high. Lift it back up. As you exhale, open your hip. Push your right foot towards the left of your mat. And then release down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Nekapada Kapitasana, left knee to left wrist. Lower your shin. Walk your right back of your foot to the earth. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, half pigeon, walk forward. Nice work. Turning on your intuition, connect your third eye, that internal gaze, this balancing point of internal and external. What we do internally reflects out into the world. One more nourishing breath here. Begin to lift your heart, lift your gaze, hands walk back underneath your shoulders. Flip your right toes over. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg high. Exhale, open your hip. That should feel nice and delicious. And release, down dog. Inhale, shift forward to a high plank. And as you exhale, lower all the way down to the earth for cobra pose. Leave your hands as they are. Lock your tops of your feet to the earth. Inhale, lift your upper back. Gaze is straight down, long through your spine. Feel energy move out of the crown of your head. If you'd like, take a challenge. Hover your hands off the earth. Squeeze your elbows in. One more breath in. Exhale, release your chin to the earth. Hands underneath your shoulders, flip your toes, breath in, 
Exhale, lift to tabletop. Begin to walk your knees now towards your wrists. Shift your hips to either side. And begin to lie all the way down on your mat for a final Shavasana. Lower down one vertebra at a time. Release your hands, release your feet, release your breath. Release the tension between your eyebrows. Your temples, your jaw, feel your chest melt deeper into Mother Earth as she holds you here. The intention you set, that it lie within your heart. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Gandhi, one of the most beautiful quotes. You are the change. We are the change. And now is the time for great change. Feel that in every fiber and molecule of your being. And take a moment here in your Shavasana to feel what that world looks like, that new changed world. When we come out of this time out, how do we want to respond to our mother? There's more balance, more connection, more oneness. This, my friends, is where I will lead you in Shavasana. Take time if you have it to really soak this space up. Marinate and change and that feeling of what that change brings, that beautiful utopian world that we all hope for. As we move into the time of Aquarius, this energy is available to us to co-create We'll create the world you want. Thank you so much for showing up today on your mat. The love, the light, the divine spark within me honors and cherishes the love, the light, the divine spark within you. Namaste. Ooh, my partner just wanted to Say a few things. So here, here is Mr. Mark. Well, Joy was talking a lot about my favorite subject, evolution, whether it be personal or collective as a species or as a planet. And Mr. Uh, Charles Darwin in The Origin of Species has a quote of, um, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but rather the ones most responsive to change. And when our entire world is changing so fast, it can bring about a reaction of freezing or wanting to resist or fight or not accept that change. Something that I am always learning how to accept and radically accept the things that I don't have control over so that I can choose to respond to the things that I do. So thank you, Mr. Darwin, and thank you, Joy, for that lovely class. Have an awesome day. Go co-create some magic, friends. I'll see you next week. Love you all.